right, Sam's not here yet, and I don't really have a phone at the moment. So it's time to talk about the creek crossing we built. Ew. You go over. So back, oh, it's noisy. So back in 2019, me and Sam started to build that magnificent, beautiful creek crossing out here in the bush. And it was backbreaking and it was hard. But the creek crossing is still here and it's probably gonna be here for another 100 years and longer. So, it would be a shame not to talk about it and share what we have done and how we done it because it took us a while and it was hard work and we're using it every week and it does an awesome job and we should share it so we started off so you were able to cross the creek without the crossing that we built but it was a pain it was hard and it, it was time consuming and it wasn't gentle on the vehicle you crossed it with either the car or the tractor whatever you had you had to perfectly line up the rocks um, in the creek and go over it so yeah we decided to build a creek crossing we started off with getting bricks so we went to mate's place and got rid of his bricks for him we roughly laid out the creek crossing and made it kind of level I always try to cheat and get away with less bricks picking up less bricks but it didn't happen we had to get enough bricks and loads of them loads and loads of bricks to lay out our crossing and make it kind of level after that we organized some real mesh and steel and anything we could get our hands on we would put it in there star pickets old bits and pieces of steel it's all in that crossing yeah it's still there it lasted for the last three years then we laid in the pipes and that's pretty much it that was that was the first few weeks of putting up the crossing after that we organized ourselves a ourselves a concrete mixer. So we set up a generator over here, ran a cable down, and bit by bit we managed to put in our concrete. So we went to the landscape guy, got our sand, got our cement, and we would just mix concrete. I would mix concrete and Sam would play in the mud. He would shape our little creek crossing and yeah he did a pretty good job and now these days it looks beautiful it looks used if it if, if it's raining the water flows right over the creek and we even get a little bit of algae here look at all that green little stuff how good is that it's awesome And it's nice and it's a bit brown and a bit gray and a bit white and it serves us well every week we have to cross it and get the tractors and the cars and everything over and it does well and we even had massive floods where the whole creek was underwater the water was was up to here flash floods lots of rain especially now and yeah it's still here and it looks so good and it's so big 